Okay, today we are going to replace some parts on the Moen faucet. So we're going to replace this piece, which is the cartridge that's down inside here. Now this is a tool that comes with it to remove the old one. We're also going to replace this piece, which is just underneath here, which holds the handle and this pulls the other piece up and down and then of course swivels whether you want hot or cold. So the first thing you want to do of course is shut your Next thing you got to do is remove this cap. I've already removed it um, just to make it a little bit quicker here. This will come off and then your hot and cold indicator. Set that aside. Now in my case this is broken. Uh, there is a set screw that's down inside here. You have to loosen up normally to take this off. Um, but it's broken so I know mine's going to come right off. That takes care of that. I'll have to get that screw out of there, of course. Um, this is the other piece I'll be replacing, which I showed you. It's that right here. Okay, also, this unscrews. So you're going to undo that, pop that off. You can Phillips bit to take this screw out here. Now keep in mind, this piece, these two pieces, and the screw, two screws that go with it is one thing you order, and the cartridge is a separate thing. They don't come together, you order them separately. And this just lifts right off. And this unscrews, as you can see. You can actually lay these things out in order that they came off. It just make it a lot easier when you reassemble it. There's a little spring-loaded ring here. We gotta get the old cartridge out. A little washer comes off first. Forgot, you gotta move, remove this clip ring which holds that from turning. You can see that little piece coming out right there. So that's gotta come out. Then, hopefully, if I didn't break this thing already, this will turn. There she goes, she's loosening up. Make sure that's good and loose, and then you're going to have to use a pair of pliers to pull that up out of there. So I got to pop. So once you've turned that several times, you should be able to grab and start pulling that out. And there you go. There is the old one. And slide it down in. Try to get it lined up on the way. Oops. Sometimes what you can do is put this on top of it and you can push that down, which will actually help set that right down in there. And then you may have to turn it to line up where the clip ring needs to go. So then the clip ring goes back in. Then you have this little washer here that goes back, and it only goes one way because it's actually got flat and the clip sides. ring that's on there. Then this goes on. Then this. This is plastic, so take your time, make sure you don't cross thread this it. It only goes one way, it'll lock down on there. One thing when you put this on, you'll notice there's a higher lip right here. That goes in the front. And the reason for that is this will sit down there and that stops it from there. That's your cold and you swing over here for your hot and it hits and stops. So you want to make sure you have that in the right position.
lot much nicer. Okay, so we have to put this piece back on. Hot's on the left. If it's not at your house, then something else is wrong. And then that clips in position like that. And all we have left to do is turn the water back on. Okay, we have the water on. There's our hot. We swing it over. And there's our cold. And this works very easy now. That's how you fix a mowing faucet. And that is part number 1225B. That's the, pretty much the standard for all one-arm mowing faucets. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for swinging by Shane's Main Shop. Please subscribe for new videos every week. And have a great day.